This video is going to talk about how to handle single event expected value uh, in this specific example where you're rolling a dice. And so uh, there's all sorts of different problems where you have expected value. But in this one, you're saying you have rolling a standard six-sided die, so it's number just one through six, and you win X dollars for rolling an even number, and you roll Y or win Y dollars for rolling the number five. And so, um, you know, the numbers and values are interchangeable here. So I'm not going to give you certain values here because you can do the work on your own. But the, every single expected value boils down to this um, formula here, where the expected value is the probability of the outcome. So we'll say outcome A times whatever that outcome is, plus probability of outcome B times that outcome, plus, and you just keep on going. So you could have... Uh, two different outcomes, winning X versus winning Y. You could have three, four, you know, obviously a whole bunch of different outcomes. Um, and they all have their own probability. So expected value is used when you are getting something out for something that occurs in a game. Um, you know, so here we're winning dollars. It could be winning points or scores or something like that. But most of the time for the work we do, it's going to be working with dollars. And so uh, I did not fill those in here. You can fill those in with your own particular values, but the point remains the same. So probability of thing times a thing plus probability of the next thing times that. Sometimes you could be losing money. Sometimes you could be winning money. In both these scenarios, it says that we are winning, so we're going up. And so we have to find that expected value. What I like to do is I like to make a table. And so when I make a table, it looks something like this, where the first column is just the outcome column. So like, what are you actually getting? Um, and then here you have the probability of that outcome. And then the expected value piece is where you multiply those. And then you're going to add up all those values. So now the outcome isn't that you get an even when you're making this table. The outcome is that you are winning X dollars. Right, so we have a winning of X dollars here. And so that occurs when you roll an even. And then the probability of that occurring, of course, well, I mean, since it's a standard die, that's just one half because half of the numbers are even. And so you're going to do one half times whatever X is. If it was 10, you put a 10 there, so on and so forth. And then your next outcome is that you could uh, win Y dollars. Right, so you're going to win Y dollars for rolling the number five. Um, so there's just one number five on there, of course, and so that would be one out of six. These things could be anything. You could say between the numbers uh, three and five, or it could say the number five and six, or maybe it'd say prime numbers. You know, all sorts of different things it could be, but nonetheless, you just take that outcome, multiply by the probability of that outcome, and then all you have to do is add all those things together. When you add all those things together, this value here is that expected value. Whatever you get for that, that's the expected value. And so um, an expected value is essentially what's going to happen on average if you were to play this game a whole bunch of times. So the expected value is not what you expect to get. It's not what's the most likely value. It's what's going to happen on average if you play a whole bunch of times. Um, so it's possible, likely, that this number in this box isn't even going to be one of these outcomes out here. So that's important for you. And then that's what you're going to put up there. And so it says, um, in order for this game to be considered a fair game, you would have to pay what? Well, you'd have to pay whatever the expected value is, right? And so um, that is what makes something a fair game, because a fair game is always and only if the cost to play that game is exactly equal to the expected value. Not close, not near. It's a fair game if they're exactly equal. And some students think, oh, well, fair is if I win. No, that's not fair. That's you winning. Uh, fair game is where both sides, the player and the host, have the same chance of walking out of there even. Right? And so without having won nor lost any money. And so uh, a definition of fair game is when you pay the same as the expected value of the game.